I'm Dominic Fernacci. Thank you so much for joining me and talking about Clifford Brown, one of the greatest trumpet players of all time. So I'm going to be playing some of his solos and also commenting on each solo. Um, I decided to do this for two reasons. One, well, I love Clifford Brown and it's his uh, 85th uh, anniversary this year. Um, and two, I always get the similar kind of question asked whenever we go around and do clinics all around the world. And that is, look, you learn the solo of one of your great favorite artists. And how do you take elements of that solo and incorporate it into your own playing to really make it your own and to help contribute to your own voice? So hopefully this series of postings through Clifford Brown solos will help to uh, uh, explain uh, some insight behind it. So we hope you enjoy it. We're going to start out with uh, one of his most famous solos. Uh, it's called Joy Spring. He wrote the song. And this is from the recording Clifford Brown and Max Roach from 1954. You can click on the link below to check out the original. It's great. approaches 16th notes and he does it in two different ways and I'm talking about the uh, the bridge of the first chorus right so at the beginning of the bridge he plays 16th notes using very little articulation slurring most of it but then immediately he goes into a very specific articulation that's very uh, characteristic of Clifford Brown so just to uh, to reference it here this is it and he kind of ghost notes uh, below which we'll get into that in a few other videos another thing I really love about this solo is that to me it's always sounded like a conversation between two people right uh, very much a, a, a call and response type of thing so I'm going to attempt to demonstrate this visually so if you can just for a moment imagine that two people are having a conversation here okay and for person number one I'm going to point the horn this way and for person number two I'm going to point the horn this way okay so now if you can listen to the solo in a different way to imagine this conversation going on. second chorus because it kind of goes back and forth I'm getting a little dizzy but hopefully you get the point
four cameras right here. But anyway, hope you can uh, get a feel for the conversation. It's just kind of a different way of hearing this, and it can open up, you know, some other ideas for you. So now comes the practical application of uh, these different concepts, right? So how do we incorporate these concepts into our own playing and make them our own? A really good way to begin to internalize this is to isolate each concept and when you're practicing your solo over the form of joy spray to only focus on one particular concept at a time. You want to do it over and over and over at different temples. Something else that might help you is if you write out the perfect solo just based on this one concept because slowing that process down is going to really help you to further internalize this concept. And now to incorporate uh, his articulation of 16th notes into our practice, I'm going to skip ahead to the, the second half of, of the bridge, right? So the first half is more slurred 16th notes, and the second half is more uh, a very specific uh, articulation, right? So I'm going to build an entire chorus around this specific articulation. And just to review it, so listen for that throughout this chord. Mm. See, and that's more challenging, but practice it really slow. Just wanted to give a fast demonstration so you can see the end result. Well, kind of the end result, but anyway, that's a pretty cool effect that I really love. Having a conversation within one solo. You have two different people having a conversation, call and response. So to demonstrate, I'm just gonna point in this direction for person one and this direction for person two. See if you can get a feel. Try to make it as simple and as clear as possible when you're practicing. One, two, one, two, mm -hmm. so much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe to keep updated with all the latest news and uh, please look out for the next post of uh, Clifford Brown's solo. Thank you very much.